Hi guys, welcome to Learn Maths Tutorial brought to you by Direct Tutoring. Today we're going to have a look at solving similar shapes and we'll also consider similar area and similar volume. So if we take a quick overview, shapes can be mathematically similar which would allow us to determine a ratio, also known as a scale factor, between them. So these shapes are basically identical apart from one is bigger than the other or one is smaller than the other. Similarity can exist as both a length, so a linear scale factor, an area and a volume. So a scale factor that is greater than one would lead to an enlargement, meaning that if we multiply a number that is greater than one, the result will become larger than the original value. And likewise, if it is less than one, this leads to a reduction. So that is how we can determine whether or not we are calculating the size of the larger shape or the size of the smaller shape. So if we take a look at question number one, it gives us two triangles which are mathematically similar and it asks us to calculate the length of x. So the first thing we have to do is define the new and the old. Now we'll call this the new and we'll call this the old because the definition of the new is the shape that has the unknown value that we need to find. So because the larger shape contains the x, that will be the one that we'll call as the new. And the old shape is the one without the uh, unknown variable. So once we label these, our scale factor formula becomes new over old. So this applies to any site, any area, or any volume. So our scale factor becomes 18 divided by 12 because this bottom section here and this bottom section here we have information about these so we can compare these and work out the ratio that the new triangle is bigger than the old one so we do 18 because it's the new value over the old which is 12 which gives us a ratio of 1.5 so this tells us that the big triangle is 1.5 times bigger than the small triangle and then the value of x can be found by multiplying the scale factor, which we found before, by the corresponding side on the old shape. So this size here and this size here, x is 1.5 times this length here. So it becomes a scale factor multiplied by the old length, which is 10. So 1.5 times 10 will give you 15 centimetres. And that's how you would go about solving a scale factor for linear lengths. And then question number two is both rectangles are mathematically similar and we need to calculate the area of the larger rectangle. So it's similar as before. We'll label the new, we'll label the old the new being the larger one because we have the area that we're trying to find is in the larger section. So linear scale factor is again new over old. Now we have the value of 64 centimeters is this length of the smaller rectangle and 80 centimeters is for the larger rectangle. So we have the ratio that the bigger one is compared to the smaller one. So we'll substitute in these values and we find that the larger uh, rectangle is 1.25 times bigger than the smaller one. Now, this is the only difference when you deal with an area scale factor, is that we have to take the linear scale factor and square it, because our area is centimeters squared, and our linear scale factor if we, when we multiply this by a length, would be centimetres. So we need to square this and bring it up to the same power 
as an area. So that's why we have to square it. So we take the area scale factor and that will become 1.25 squared which will give us 1.5625. That is our area scale factor. And then the process is exactly the same to find the area x. It just becomes the area scale factor multiplied by the old area. And in this case, the old area is 3393. We'll times that by 1.5625. And that will give us an area rounded up to 5,302 centimetres squared. And that's how you would go about solving a similar area question. And then lastly, to calculate the volume of a similar shape, uh, this gives us two cylinders, uh, which are mathematically similar. And this time, we want to find the volume of the smaller cylinder. So again, we need to label new and old. So this time, the smaller one becomes the new, and the larger one is the old, because the smaller one has the variable that we're trying to find. Now, you always start with your linear scale factor, so new over old, and we have the ratio between these lengths here, so the 12 and the 10, However, this time, it becomes 10 over 12, which gives us 0 0.83. Now, remember from the introduction that a scale factor less than 1 indicates a reduction, which makes sense because we're going from a large shape to a smaller shape. So by multiplying it by 0.83, we would end up with a less value than what we started with. However, just like the area scale factor, the volumetric scale factor is the linear scale factor cubed because it's centimetres cubed we have to cube the linear scale factor so our volumetric scale factor becomes 0 0.5787 and then the process is exactly the same to find volume x because we take volume x is equal to the volumetric scale factor multiplied by the old volume, which in this case is 691. So we do 0 0.5787 times 691, and when we round it up, we'll get a volume of 400 centimetres cubed. And that corresponds to what we should expect, because our volume for the smaller shape should be less than the volume of the larger shape. And that's how you would go about solving all three similar shape questions thanks for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel leave any comments in the comment section below and we'll see you in the next video